Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you kind of like a guide to Scribble. So if you don't know what this is, it is a feature that Apple released, I believe it was with iPadOS 14, that allows you to convert your handwriting into text. It works in most text fields on your iPad, like the search bar in Safari, notes, messages, all that stuff. So it just helps that you don't have to switch to the keyboard every single time. So when you're in a text field, you can just write with your Apple Pencil and it will convert it to text. To make sure this is turned on, you can go to settings and go to Apple Pencil and then you will see Scribble there. You can go ahead and turn that on if it's off and you can also do a demo in settings which actually takes you through some of the steps that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. So you can go ahead and do that as well. But what I really want to focus on is using Scribble in GoodNotes because I love using Scribble in GoodNotes. I don't always find my handwriting super neat on iPad. So being able to convert my handwriting into text, which just makes it look neater, is something that I really love. And if you are in the same boat, it kind of discourages you from using GoodNotes. You can actually use text as well and just convert your handwriting into text. So you get the same feel of writing, but it does convert it to text. So let's go into GoodNotes, take a look at how Scribble works in there, all the gestures and things that you can use for it, and just all my tips for using Scribble. So here in GoodNotes, we have this document here, which I made, which you can get in the description if you wanna follow along with my tutorial slash guide. Um, so you can kind of just have a hands-on experience with this yourself. So I'll link in the description if you're interested in getting this for yourself. So going to the next page, here are a few things that I wanna cover in this video about Scribble and using Scribble, especially in GoodNotes. So I'm gonna open up my toolbar here. So for Scribble to work, first off, you just need to use your text tool. Obviously have your Apple Pencil in hand and then just tap anywhere to make a text box. And as you can see, our keyboard didn't come up, so now we can just write anything. So let's go ahead and just write scribble, and there it is um, in text. The fonts I'm using, I will have a link in the description where you can get it. It's basically a pack that has a bunch of fonts that look kind of like handwriting. Uh, I get a lot of questions about it, so we'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, that's the basics of just starting to use Scribble. You just create a text box and write anything that you want and it can convert your handwriting into text. I use Scribble a lot in my digital planner just because I like to have that looking neat. So I use these fonts in that planner to write out to-dos and all that kind of stuff. So let's get to the first tip. So the first tip is Scribble to erase. So this is if you made a mistake when writing. So to easily just erase something that you wrote, all you need to do is scribble over the word and it will erase it just like that and then it's just an easy way you don't have to switch to the keyboard to erase next up we have select a word so to select a word using scribble all you need to do is draw a line through it and that will select it or what you can also do is you can draw a circle around a word and that will also select it so next we have creating a space between two words so i'm just going to put my line there and then to create a space all you need to do is draw a line through and that will create a space and you can also draw that line again to combine those words together so that is how you create a space between two words next i want to show you how to insert a word into a sentence or whatever it's actually really easy to do not a lot of people show this i feel like so you're going to hold down in between the space that you want to insert the word it can be a word or it can be multiple words so i'm just going to go ahead and hold down until you see these gray lines appear and then i'm just going to write in the word that that I want to insert. And then just like that, the word is inserted into our little space there. Next, I wanna cover the menu just real quick. So I'm just gonna quickly write a word here. So this is the menu here at the bottom. So we have a few things here that I wanna show you. So first off, we just have these two icons here. These are just settings. So the first one is just to undo. And the other one is for keyboard settings. You can go to pencil settings, you can minimize, you can show your keyboard here and you can go show emoji. So you can access those two keyboards if you want to, but it will make it into a smaller format, which I don't really know why, but it is what it is. Then you can also go to this setting here and click on hide keyboard if you want to. Then we have these two arrows here. These are just to navigate through your words. So you'll see that little blue line that indicates where we are located. You can go through and move that around. You can also turn on bold. So whatever you write after you turn that on will be bold. My font doesn't support bold, but you can use that with whatever font you're using. You can also italicize any fonts. You can underline, strike through. Then we have here this microphone. This is to create your own um, dictation. So it just basically writes what you're saying. And then lastly, this arrow here is to go to the next line. So basically to click enter. So you can do that and it will go to the next line. Then lastly, I just want to share with you that you can create your own fonts 
using a certain website. I have it linked here. If you click on create font, it will take you to the website. So let's go ahead and go to that. It's called Calligrapher. You can go ahead and sign in. It's completely free. And then you can download a template on their website to fill in and write in your own handwriting. And then you can upload it back onto the site and then download that font. So it's gonna look basically like your handwriting. I did this with my handwriting. So this is what it looks like. I just drew in with my handwriting. Well, this is kind of like a better version of my handwriting. Um, and this is really nice if you want a more personalized touch with your handwriting. So it looks like your handwriting, but it's actually text. So you can also do that link in the description. You can also go ahead and download this font if you want to. I just thought I'd include it. But yeah, that is how you can also create your own fonts and use them to write slash type. But yeah, that is Scribble in a nutshell. So that was my little guide to using Scribble on iPad. I hope you enjoyed it. I always get a lot of questions when I'm using Scribble on iPad in my videos. People asking like, how does it work? And just how do I do certain things with it? What fonts I use? So I hope I answered all those questions for you in today's video. Really, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.